buckle up, boys and girls. Hang on to your purses and your wallets, and hopefully you don't lose your lunch. Let's go. Yeehaw! Welcome back, everybody, to Satisfactory. I'm the Bearded OG, and we have a lot to do in this episode. So I have been working my butt off on this road. Uh, I have put I don't know how many hours <laughs> into building the, out this road. Uh, not the road itself, but, you know, the new conveyor belts and uh, setting up more hypertube lines and stuff like that. But we now have um, the three additional coal and the two... Uh, the one uh, sulfur and quartz uh, going all the way to the the top, the end of the road here at the top. Um, one of the things I'm planning on doing in this episode is we're going to do away with that big long ass ramp and we're going to go vertical. Um, and I wanted to kind of do that little process with you on camera. So, uh, yeah, lots, lots to do here. So, whoa, shit, wrong way. <laughs> uh, so first thing is... Uh, I have set up hyper tubes to uh, the Crater Lakes area where we have the three coal mines and then all the way into the northern forests. Um, but what I want to actually do, yeah, here, actually, let's let's go ahead and follow this to the next junction. I still need to put to the supports underneath the road. I mean, in real life, you would do that first, of course, <laughs> but it, I do it last. I it's just kind of weird, but that's the way it goes. Um, and I wanted to bring you guys with me uh, for at least part of that because we're going to be uh, boots on the ground and we'll we'll kind of see some of the the forest from the ground because it's a it's a different perspective down there um, and maybe you know grab a few resources and things like that. So basically, the road here um, from this point forward doesn't have any under support, so we're going to be working on that. Uh, but I do have a hyper tube, uh, you know, set up all the way down like I said, to the Crater Lakes, and then on to the Northern Forest. And then we're going to, I didn't set up the hypertube going down into the Northern Forest. I thought I would do that on camera with you guys too, because that's going to be, that's going to be a wild ride. It's going to be really cool. So, all right, let's go ahead and bail off right here. And, oh, actually, I guess, I guess I did put the first support in. Okay. So yeah, we're just going to go along and it, as usual, every place that we have a power line, We'll put a support underneath it. It's just the easiest way to mark it. And then uh, we'll also take a look and see what's going down on down on the ground here. Maybe get ourselves some slugs like there's a yellow slug. I happen to know, however, that there's two, not one, but two giant spiders right up there kind of guarding that yellow slug. So, yeah, I, uh, those, those are the most dangerous critter in this game, those are giant spiders. So... We might wait until we get the rifle before we deal with them. Okay, let's switch to this toolbar. And uh, we'll put the our supports on and run these down. Uh, oh, I guess I need to be in zoop mode here. Um, if you happen to be watching me for the first time, yes, I know I don't have to do this, but I like to do it for realism. And it also makes the, the road look cooler too, I think, anyway. But yeah, it just looks really cool down here in the red bamboo jungle forest or whatever the hell it's called um here on the ground oh shit okay and we got bad bads already so it looks like we got a a, a b pod some people call these guys flies they do kind of look like flies i guess like horned flies all right where oh oh shit that's a purple slug over there but it looks like there's two of these Two of these things. All right, so let's um, let's back up a little bit. Uh, we're gonna see if we can shoot shoot those guys down. Okay. There's one down. All right, come here, you bastards! Oh my God, there's a lot of them. I think what we need to do is get 
a little further away so it stops spawning them and then sneak back up on them. Or let's see if we can come around this way. All right. Gets rid of that one. And let's also hit this one here. Okay. So now we just got to deal with the fallout here. What the hell? Got the wrong thing out. Hey, when that happens. I dropped the novelisk too. Alright, is that all of them? Oh, you know what? I don't have room for this guy. That's a problem. We're going to get rid of one, uh, seven steel beams. Okay, there's still, still more bads around. We must have another nest somewhere real close by. I just don't know where it is. Uh, I, I don't have room to pick up those thingies, unfortunately. I wish we could pick these back up. It doesn't make sense that we can't. Okay, anyway, let's get back to the task at hand. Um, let's go this way. There's some uranium over there. But I just like to, I like to hang out down in the woods and enjoy the world a little bit, you know? Not just always be up high. Oh, there's the there's their little nest. Okay, I see it. Let's uh, temper. <coughs> excuse me. Let's temporarily drop those, pick these, and eat them. Oh, we have to. Uh, we have to eat it from our. Damn it! I can't eat it from here. Come on, man. We'll heal up a little bit and we'll save our our uh, breathalyzer thingy. <laughs> Whatever the hell, the inhaler <laughs> breathalyzer. Oh, there's something over here. I saw another bacon mushroom. Oh, it's just right over here. There's one over here. Oh, good lord. I can't take me anywhere. <laughs> Jeez. All right, whatever. Let's just go. So much for saving one of our breathalyzers. Oh, man. Never a dull moment, man. Okay, so anyway, let's see. We should have... Do we have another... We should have another power pole. I think. Yeah, right there. Okay. There we go. Let's get rid of this thing. Uh, there's a Mercer sphere out in the water. Breaking news from Earth. Widespread chaos and mayhem. World President urges all citizens to do their part and harvest alien artifacts. Okay. That takes care of that. Now we need to go that direction. There's lots of poison shit in the way. Um. Comply. All right, let's get this one out of the way. Uh, 
I don't have room to pick that thing up. Now we need... Oh, shit. We need to make the gas mask. Relaying message. Hello, this is Paternal Figure. I am taking ill and need your help to find a cure. Paternal Figure. Doctors say that the only remedy is alien artifacts. That's Paternal Figure. Right. Okay. Get all the way up here. I have to do it from this side because I can't see the power poles from over there. That's looking good. Let's move down to the next one. Oh, that's that floating summer sloop. Just kind of watching out for bad bads here we go here so one thing I was going to tell you guys is that uh, one of you left me a comment saying that if you use there's a doggo if you use the uh, floor holes, you can run the conveyor lifts any, you know, vertically up and down any length. I think that used to be the case, but I don't believe it is any longer because I tried to do it and I could not get it to work. However, that comment did spark a different idea that did, excuse me, that did work uh, and made, you know, sending those up a little less clunky. And so uh, I employed that with the both the coal, uh, Crater Lake coal area and also down further by the sulfur and quartz. So I'll show that to you guys when we get over there. Uh, okay, we've got a big bad boy over here. And it looks like a yellow slug too, which we're not going to have room for. Um, I really loaded myself up here. I probably shouldn't have done that. Uh, there isn't really anything in here I am willing to throw out because they're just too high a quantities. So I guess what we can, we could blow this up now, um, but I'll have to come back for it later. Oh, it's going to be one of these numbers where we have to, oh shit. Right in the ass. He doesn't even know we're here. Got him. Okay. There we go. Okay. So we freed that thing. And we'll come back for it later. And I'll also pick up the giblets from these guys we're taking out later, too, if I remember and can find them. Because you can make that into protein and that into DNA for awesome shop stuff, among other things. Um, I guess we don't need to kill that poison thingy. Alright, so we get to the cliff leading down into... The Crater Lakes. We got another hard drive over there and a couple other uh, thingies that we can do. Can I reach this from here? I can. Hmm. It's kind of hard to tell if it's actually centered, though. So 
Let's try it from here. I think that's centered. It is east and west. I'm just not 100% sure if it is north and south. I'm pretty sure it is, though. If it isn't, we can always fix it later. I think that made it all the way to the... Yeah, that, that made it all the way to the ground. Okay, cool. Easy enough. That one we'll have to ramp up to, or ladder up to. Okay, let's head on down. And we'll go grab the hard drive that's over there. Uh, that sounds like a spider. I don't see it, though. Is it that? Is that guy making all that noise? I don't know, but let's just hang glide away from here. Our next spot is probably going to be right about there, but I can't, I, I guess, hmm. I, oh yeah, I do have the power poles on that side, never mind. Oh, hi buddy. You got some limestone for us. Oh, thanks man. Appreciate that. Uh... Let's drop that, take the limestone, and pet our buddy. All right, go play, Popsicle. No? You don't want to play? <laughs> okay. Well, don't look, but, uh, yeah, we have to do that. I appreciate you bringing stuff to us. It's a good boy. That is a good boy. Um, all right, let's just put a foundation down here, and we'll, um, we'll ramp out... If I can get the... Oh, I bet Doggo's in the way. That's probably what's going on. Oh, Doggo, dude. Appreciate you, man, but kind of in the way. I'm going to turn my AC on. It's pretty warm in my office here. Hopefully it doesn't blow into the microphone too badly. That's where we want to go. Right there. All right, got that done. Big bad. He did. Um, all right. Let's see here. Let's go over this way. There's a blue power slug inside of that clump of rocks. I don't think I'm going to worry about that right now. Now, we have this wall here, but... Realistically, because we have so much other stuff going on too, it would make sense to put a support here and probably a large support. So that is what we shall do. I like it. I like it. So what... Uh, Oh, we have one slot open. Okay, so let's go grab that hard drive. Uh, we'll, we'll take the hyper tube up later. In fact, you know, I just thought of something. Yeah, I'm going to have to redo my ladder. I mean, technically we don't need it now because of the hyper tube, but it's always good to have uh, manual access up to places like this. So, yeah, we'll I'll deal with that later. I had to get kind of creative um, down at the main drop on that to get it to work. Uh, and it's most definitely not OSHA approved. But what can you do, right? 
All right, we'll leave the slug there for now. I'm, I just want to get the hard drive for now. And I'm sure there's going to be nasties guarding it. Okay, where is that thing, actually? It's up in here in one of these clumps of trees. leaving alien giblets all over the place. Uh, we need that spot for the drive, though. All right. Uh, that, is that it over there? Mm -mm. All right. Let's get in a, a lookout tower, because I don't remember. No, 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 no. I forgot my to-do list again. get up high so we can figure out where the hell this thing's at. Oh, it's over there. There's a bunch of fly pods, too. Okay. Ooh. Have to get the right trajectory. Oh, shit! We're at a rebar. We've got nine shatter rebars. Okay. Okay. I'm going to make a big freaking stack of shadow rebars once we get our quartz going. I created a little bit of a problem for myself, didn't I? Right. Let's just run along here. Um, hey, look at me. I'm Jesus walking on the water. <laughs> Okay, come at me, bros. Oh! Do they have a TTL? That's time to live for those of you who aren't network geeks. They must have a TTL, because those guys just popped. Let's see if these guys pop in a second. Yep. TTL. Gotta love it. Oh shit, we got radiation. All right, what do you need? We got what you need. Okay, we'll take that and we'll take the computers. Those those look like circuit boards to me, but okay. More computers. All right, let's get away from the radiation for a second. Nice. Okay, so we'll check that hard drive in a little bit. You got something for us, buddy? Oh, look at you! We could actually use that, too. That is super handy, man. Thanks, man. You're a good doggo. <laughs> okay. Where are we at? Over here. So what I did uh, with the lifts, if you guys watched the last episode, uh, you'll know that I set this up where, you know, I took the lift up as high as it would go and then I connected a new lift and it was like protruding out and going the other direction. Well, when you guys left me the comment about using the floor holes, that didn't work. I, I mean, what, what you're used to be able to do, and I watched somebody do this on an old YouTube video, you used to be able to hook into like the one at the top and then you could drag it all the way to the ground in one length but they must have patched that out because that doesn't work anymore but what you can do is you can put like the half walls up there with the with the floor holes and then you know run up through the bottom and then attach a new one to the top and keep going and it's just a little bit cleaner looking a and b it's also to me a little more realistic because now you know these conveyor belts have more support along the wall so yeah, thanks for that comment. Really appreciate it. Uh, nothing really new to show you down there. I think everything's the way it was before. Uh, we do need to figure out what to do about this ladder situation. 
Um, I don't think I want to mess with that right now. We got too much to do. I'll, I'll fix that later off camera. Yeah, I'll fix that. Oh, shit. I guess I'm still in fly mode. Okay, see you later, buddy. All right, let's head on up. Oh, wait. No, we can't head on up. We, we got to finish putting our supports in. Anyway, that's the hyper tube that comes from the red jungle. Uh, so that junction that we got off at to start the, you know, putting the supports down, um, that this is where that comes out at. And then this leads all the way just down to the other end on the northern forest. We can ride it down there and then we'll just work our way back. It doesn't matter. But uh, the one that's going to plummet down into the valley, I, I thought that'd be fun to kind of build with you guys on camera. So that's what we shall do. Woohoo! Man, it's a good thing there's a damn rail there, huh? Okay, um... So this is my jank, un-OSHA-approved setup <laughs> for getting up here with the ladder. So I I used a, uh, a concrete pillar, uh, one of these thingies here, and put it in, you know, sideways, and then I put the catwalks centered on top of that because if you if you connect them, you know, based upon the on the wall, which is what they normally want to do, then it covers the ladder and you can't get up the ladder. So, yeah, it's a little little jank getting on it. Getting getting off of it's easy though. You just come up this way and, and just kind of pop over here, and then you're good to go uh, to get back up here. Going down doesn't matter to us anyways because we have a parachute, so we just use that for everything. Um, also. I changed this up a little from last time too, where I, I put a thick. Uh, I had, I think I had a skinny pillar here, and I decided, no, nah, that better, that needs to be a thick pillar because it's supporting all the weight of this, you know, other stuff on the end. And uh, then once again, I, um, here I'll just show you. I did that same thing with the, uh, the lifts here too. So it's just a lot cleaner looking, and I think you know a little more realistic. Um, oh, you know what? I forgot to do. I forgot to put the walls back in. Uh, I mean, not the walls. I mean the the half floors. Okay. Well, add that to the to-do list. All right. Let's head on back up. Hmm. I wonder if I'm going to... I'll bet you I can't even reach that from here. We're going to have to ladder up. Yeah, that's a little too damn high. Okay, so let's get close to underneath it. Probably need to go up another section at least. That is way the hell up there. Okay, let's see if we can reach it now. Yeah, we can. want the ladder. All right, looking good. Let's go do the next one. Any chance I can reach this one? I can. Look at that. We probably could have reached the other one too with just one section ladder, but that's okay. I like it. Let's head on over and build our crazy hyper tube down into the valley. And I gotta, yeah, I gotta get those half walls set up on the lift there as well. Okay, so we're gonna do two hyper tubes. We're gonna do one going down um, to just below us, and then one going way down all the way to the bottom um, of the northern forest, and then out a little ways. That's the plan. So the way we're gonna set that up is we're gonna use a 
Let me pick this up for a minute. Okay. We're going to use a floor hole in, I think I want it to be on this line here. It's really easy to to misplace these because um just the kind of their th 3D model look to them I guess. All right, let's grab a support and we'll line that up with this one here. Yeah, it's lined up because that's also got the entrance on it. Um, is it lined? Yeah. And then in order to get this to work, I think we got to go, yeah, we got to go to noodle mode. There we go. Yeah. Okay, good. Let's put an entry on here, but we're not going to power it up quite just yet because we don't want it to suck us into it and then shoot us plummeting down towards the earth at 100 miles an hour. That would not be good. And in fact... I think we can we can go all the way down and we should still be able to reach it. It's got quite a long reach. Now here's the thing. When we come down this thing, we are going to be screaming like a bat out of hell. So we need a runway. Uh, oh, the MAM's done. Uh, the hard drive, rather. Well, the MAM and the hard drive. Okay, what do we get? The damn rigger motor one again. Uh, I didn't like that. Automated speed wiring. I don't know why you would ever take this. Because you only ever need to make a hundred of these for the whole entire game, as far as I know. And then, of course, th this is pretty much worthless, too, if you ask me. Uh, mostly because it can't be automated. You have to go out and cut wood to do it. And why? You know, when you can just mine coal. Infinite coal. Uh, so, yeah, these two are weird. Why didn't I like this one again? L let me look this one up again. I remember not liking it, but I don't remember why. So there are two alternate recipes. There's this one here, and then there's also what's called the electric motor. Uh, both the alternate recipes produce 7.5 motors per minute. The normal one produces 5 per minute. However, the normal recipe only uses two rotors and two stators. This one uses three rotors, three stators, a crystal oscillator, and requires a manufacturer because it has more than two inputs. And it's only given us two and a half more per minute. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't see it. If you didn't have to include the crystal oscillators and the manufacturer, then I would get it. But why would you set up a whole nother line to make crystal oscillators and use an extra rotor and an extra stator just to make two and a half more per minute? Yeah, that's why I didn't like that one. Now, the electric motor one could be good, though, because that just requires two rotors and one electromagnetic control rod and an assembler, depending upon how complex it is to make an electromagnetic control rod. I don't know. But this rigger motor sucks. Um, if you guys can give me a good reason why anybody would ever choose this, let me know. Because um, I don't know everything, of course, but we're going to re-roll this one. Okay, anyway, back to this. Like I was saying, we're going to be coming like a bat out of hell down that thing, and so we need a runway. Um, so what we're going to do is we know that it's on this tile here. Um, so why don't we why don't we just put that there and we're going to be more to the right than the left. I was going to use catwalks for this, but 
Maybe we'll just do this. And it's probably going to shoot us quite a ways back. Yeah, let's just bring that all the way back to here. Let's just put that there. Pretty sure that's directly below that. Hopefully it is. Uh, all right, so... I'm going to... Uh, Let's grab this. Okay, it can go all the way to there. It's very difficult to tell if this is the halfway point. But if I were to guess, um, I would say we're pretty close to the halfway point. Maybe what we'll do is we'll go up to there. Okay, so let's get a foundation. Uh, we want a one meter. Oh, that's going to fuck up my ladder, isn't it? Ah, oh, shit. Okay, I have an idea for that, actually. No, my idea isn't going to work. You know what we need is, uh, we need, like, portholes that the player can crawl through vertically. All right, well, let's put that there. And... I'm pretty sure that's where we want to be with the hole. Yeah, very sure that's where we want to be with the hole. Okay. I mean, I could take this off, but then there's nothing supporting that, you know? Um, unless we... I guess we could do that. It's a little jank to me, though. What if we... Could we run a, a, a beam? Oh. Yeah, let's do that. Let's run a beam to support it. That works for me. Okay. I probably can't connect that from here, but let's try. Yeah, see, it wants to go around. All right, so we're going to have to um, move our ladder out a little bit. These damn ladders are useful, man. I'll tell you what. That should work. Um, that looks straight to me. So left and right, it's, um, to the right of center. And forward and backward, it's in the middle. And that's the same thing we got going on here. So I think that's good. Okay. Oops. <laughs> Ouch. Uh, I guess in this game, you can... As long as you have full health, you can fall from any height and you'll survive it. It'll, it'll take you down to a half point of health. And I think that's what just happened to us there. All right, let's get rid of this. Now, we want to make sure that we're in uh, horizontal to vertical mode, which we are. And is that nice and straight? Yeah, it is. I think that's what the doctor ordered. Let's get back a little ways. Looks straight to me. And it looks straight that direction too. Very nice. Okay. So let's rail this bad boy up. Good. I like it. Now, uh, we're going to need to actually do the same thing on this side, too, because our other hypertube, the one that's going to go way down, is going to come out this side. Uh, I guess we'll worry about that later, though. What we need to do now is we need to get uh, the entrance on here. 
And we need to get power to this. So, let's... Uh, okay, hard drive is done. Let's see what we get. That fucking rigger motor again. Unbelievable. I... Uh, I already had that. Hmm, I could have sworn I have that already. And... I think I looked at this at one point and didn't particularly care for it either. And if I remember correctly, it's because it's actually less per minute. Let me double check that. Right, yeah, I like the normal recipe because you get six per minute. It's four steel beam and five concrete. So it's slightly more expensive on the steel, but you get two more per minute. So, yeah, I'm not a fan. Uh, we already talked about how badly this sucks. Alternate bolted iron plate. Um, actually, here. What do I... Well, I guess we canceled it. I was going to do that anyway. But if we look at... Whoops. Oh, I've got the... I've got this one, the one that uses the copper wire. And does 5.625 per minute. All right, let's, let's try it again. Actually, you know what? Let's just leave that there since we're going to be working in the area for a bit. Okay, we need power. We need power for this guy. So, why don't we... Let's get a, a power pull and... Put it right here. Should be lined up straight with that. Yeah, okay. And then I think what we'll do is we'll run a line to here. That's reasonably straight. And then let's run this across to the other side because that's where my power is. Actually, you know what I want to do with this one is... That needs to come down one anyways. Let's change this to a double. Uh, just mark one's good enough. Okay, now, what we're going to have to do here is temporarily come out this way. And we're going to have to cut this, because you can't insert these in the middle of the line like you can with the poles. Why they made it so you could do it with the poles and not with the others beyond me, but okay, let's m remove this and go down to there. Alright, we should be in business. We're not in business. Why isn't that on? Oh. Somehow or another in all my shenanigans, I disconnected that. All right, well, that explains it. Okay, let's... Connect that up. All right, here we go. <laughs> Look how fast we're moving. <laughs> oh, that didn't spit us out as far as I thought it would. It, actually, it spit us out pretty damn far, though. Okay. Then we'll ride it back up. Fun, fun. All right. So we got that part done. 
now, um, let's grab, uh, here, this is going to have to go. Okay, so we're going to put this in the same exact place, but just opposite. So right in the center here, but on this line here. Let's get our toolbar with our hypertube equipment on it. That looks correct. All right, now let's grab you. And we'll bring you back to... That's a little shorter than the other one. I think it'll let me do it, though. Make sure we're in noodle mode. Yeah. It lets me do it. Okay. Um, let's put the entry on here. And we can just power it up from that pole once we are ready to. Beautiful. Okay. Let's hop off. And... What I'm going to actually do is come down here and let's just temporarily move that through to this side and we'll, okay, hold on a sec. That beam is beneath here. So we'll grab the metal beam and we'll put it there and uh, no, I don't want free form. I want default. No, that's not what I want. Let's try that again. Go this way. That looks right. I need to run it. I think I might need to run it further that way. Yeah. To there, maybe? Oh! It's down too low. We'll fix that. Whilst we're here, let's put the hole in. That looks right. Uh, make sure we're horizontal to vertical. For this particular connection, that actually doesn't... I don't think it matters, but it matters if you're <clears throat> going to curve down like we did at the bottom. Because then it'll make sure it's a 90 degree... Okay. That looks... Oh, shit. That one's too far over. Um... Okay. I want them to look the same, because otherwise it'll look jank from below. Down below. Let's... Well, can I do that from here? Oh, shit. I mean, I can kind of, I can kind of see it. Getting it to connect the way I want it to, though, is not going to probably work so well. What we'll do then is we will grab ourselves a wall. Hanging off there. 
Hard drive's done again. Should have just done this in the first place. There. That should be correct. Uh, yeah. We want this, 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 and this. Damn rigor motor again. It just really wants to give us that recipe, doesn't it? Okay, we didn't like this one. We hate this one. This isn't bad, actually. Just because it removes rods. The only thing is, though, is I already have the really good screw recipe that uses steel beams and makes like, God, 250 per minute from one steel beam. Now, granted, you have to set up the steel beams first, which is a, you know, uh, iron refiner or smelter and a refiner. So iron coal. So this is really not a bad situation if you need, you know, if you don't need that high quantity of screw. So I think I'm going to take this. We might actually put that to use. That's a pretty good recipe, if you ask me. Excellent. All right, we're done with hard drive stuff for now. Okay, so let's go here. And we're going to do the same, uh, same setup as before. I don't think we need these. All right, so in order to do this correctly, I'm going to have to get down below it, I think. Oh, wait, no, we don't need the, the beam on this one because it's connected just uh, directly to this. So we're good. We're good. OK, nice. Um, and that's where that needs to go. And I think we're golden. Yeah, I think that looks cool. Okay, so next thingy. You know what? Before we get any further down, let's go ahead and, and well, I guess we didn't need to. I was going to say, let's get the power connected up at the top. But we could have connected it at the bottom and then came back up at two, but that's okay. We could try and go down it now and see <laughs> see if our parachute stops us. Nothing ventured, nothing broken. Oh shit. Okay, we're good. <laughs> oh man. Alright, so here's how this is gonna roll now. Um can I reach that from here? can and I can bring even bring it all the way down all right uh, so this business here this is gonna have to be a full foundation but I'm not actually going to stop it here. We're going to go down even further, and then we're going to have it spit us out about halfway between here and the quartz miner. And the reason I'm doing that is uh, so we can get to the quartz or the sulfur relatively easy because they're both really close by. Rather than build a separate one directly to the quartz, 
and then another spur directly to the sulfur. I think they're close enough to where that's not necessary. Um, okay, so that means we got to go down another thing, actually. So let's once again put this in place, and I think that's where we want to be. Uh, yeah, I think that's correct. Alright, let's, um, rail you up. I'm gonna trust that I did that right and that it's straight. I'm pretty sure it is. So we don't really have an access down to there, but here's what we're going to do anyway. We're going to go this direction. And we're going to kind of figure out where we want our runway to end up down below here. We come this far. It's almost damn near all the way to the quartz, isn't it? So I think what we'll do is we'll end up right down here in this area. And yeah, that our tube does look nice and straight from here. Okay. Let's pick up some of this shit and get it out of the way. If I had room I take it back and process it but I don't and I've got more bio fuel now than we'll probably use for the whole rest of this playthrough anyway why doesn't it let me pick those up oh because we already got a full stack wait what well that's weird all right let's get out a big hammer That should be good enough. Good enough for our purposes. I'm going to chuck those. I've got almost a full chest of color cartridges. Well, I have over a half a chest of color cartridges, and I have a bunch more flowers back at the base to turn into color cartridges. That's what I meant. Okay. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to... This is going to be our landing, I'm thinking. Right about here. So, let's get a... Uh, where are we at? Foundation. So, let's get a, a big foundation. Press control to put it on the global. And run it out there. Oh. We killed some spiders here a long time ago. I guess we'll pick those up. That stuff sticks around forever. Um, I think what I want to do here is let's pick this back up. And we'll... We'll do a ramp at the very end. Right, we'll have to kind of gauge how far this should be. And we might I might do a little something different for the supports. So we just don't have this you know these bulky foundations coming all the way over here. Oh, are you kidding me? Really? Oh, you know what? The, uh, that may not be a problem. I'm not actually going to use this floor hole, but I'm, I just want to see. Are we hitting the stone? Oh, we're just barely missing it. Okay. <laughs> just barely missing it. 
That works. Okay, let's come to here. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this pillar right there. Uh, wait a second. Let's also remove that for a minute. Yeah, okay. So let's put the pillar... I can't tell for sure if that's... No, we need to push it back one to here. Yeah, that's what we want to do. Okay. Now, we'll take that off and take that off and zoop this down. And that must be, I guess that's all the way down because it's going horizontal. Oh, uh, yeah, I think it's all the way down. All right, now let's remove this piece. Remove that and that. And we should be able to make sure we're on horizontal to vertical. Do that. I like it. I like it. All right. Cool. Okay, let's go to auto 2D. Auto 2D seems to give the best uh, right angles. Not that we need right angles for this, but... Okay, let's push this back to here. We're going to do the same thing that we did before. Uh, is this tree going to be a problem? <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, it is. We don't want those branches hitting us in the face at 100 miles an hour which is probably at least as fast as we'll be going when we come through here. So this is going to have to go. Sorry, tree. Uh, oh. Guess I can't get to it from up here. Is there uh, poison plants right below us? Yes, there is right there. Okay. Okay. Oh, that takes care of the tree, too. That's right. We don't even have to go down there. How about that? How about that? Uh, all right. Let's get rid of that. And come back to here. We're going to do the same thing here now. I'm going to put a pillar right there. Zoopity doop it down. Looks like that's all the way down. Remove this one. And that will be the start of our runway. Oh. Here, take that out. Okay, what we'll what we'll do is we'll That might be just enough. We'll see, though. Um, I can't really do that, can I? Okay. I need to get power down here. And, oh my goodness, look at that. 
It's almost as if it was custom made just for us. Whoever put this together. It's almost as if they planned it that way. Okay. Let's ride it up. It's not going up that's fun. It's the coming down. <laughs> I wonder if there was is some way I could jury rig up some beams and use the side um the side mounts and get rid of you know all of these thing uh, all these panels just for better visibility. It's certainly possible. I eh, maybe it's not possible. No, you know what? I don't think it is because um cuz these don't Well, actually, can you flip these? I'm making assumptions here. You can. Oh, wait. Yeah, you can make them go flat. Hmm. So how would we do that? This is all about the ride, ladies and gentlemen. We got to make it as cool as possible. So, um, I mean, we could almost just do that, huh? That would work. I think that would work. Yeah, I think that'll work. Go down to the next one. That's not what I wanted to do. But if we just take this off, oh, we didn't put, we didn't put the thingies there though. But we can put the thingies there. Um, let's do this. Let's temporarily put a. Yeah, that works. Put that there. Oh, god damn it. I did it again. Cut it out. All right, so we just want to grab a beam and do that. Oh, man, that's going to look good, you guys. That's going to look really good. I think it will. Okay, get rid of this. It's just it's just going to give us, you know, more visibility when we're plummeting down, you know. Uh, I think that's right. No. We need to come over one more. There we go. I love it. So, okay, but for this one, we're going to need to uh, go here and come back there and then just get rid of all these. All right. Um, is that straight or did I get that crooked? Oh, no. Shit. Okay, I think. Fortunately, it looks like I, it's crooked on the end, which is the easiest one to fix. Hey, floating bacon. Okay, good. Uh, Cause I think this section. Uh, yeah, I think this section is straight. 
it just starts going cockeyed, you know, on this last section, which is perfect. I mean, not perfect, but certainly the easy one to fix for us. Why is that, though? This is supposed to be on the global. How did that get messed up? I don't get it, man. Yeah, that's where it, that's where it's supposed to be. Now it's straight. Okay, let's go back up. I like this a lot better. be able to see just a little bit better it gives you a little more of a, a feeling of being suspended out into space you know all right are you guys ready for this buckle up boys and girls hang on to your purses and your wallets and hopefully you don't lose your lunch let's go yeehaw god look how fast we're going <laughs> oh man Oh, okay, look, that was perfect. That was a perfect runway. <laughs> All right. I like it, you guys. I like it. I think it came together really nicely. And our, um, whoops, our lift here is, I think it looks pretty good, you know? Everything's symmetrical and straight. Uh, oh, I need to remove that platform right there, uh, which will be lemon squeezy to do. Um, okay, so, oh, are you floating? You can't be floating. At least not you. The other ones don't matter so much. That's great. Okay. We'll ride it back up, too. I mean, you you know, you, you obviously you slow way down, but you're, you still go up these things way faster than you can climb on a ladder okay so yeah we just need to remove this platform here you really have to use fine tune tune movements with this parachute there we go all right I love it Let's go all the way back to our road, our main road, our western, our west coast road. I don't think there's anything else we need to do over here. I think we're good to go. All the power's hooked up. We put the supports in. Uh, conveyor lines are run, are all the way there. So let's hypertube our way back, and then um, the last part of what we're going to do today. This is going to be another fucking long episode, but this is satisfactory. What can you do? Um, last thing we're going to do, at least I'm going to get started with, I probably will let you guys go before I'm completely done with it, but started it enough so you can see what I'm doing. But we're going to eliminate that, that big ass ugly ramp that we built, you know, several episodes ago, going down to the West Coast Road, and we're going to go vertical very much like we just did there. Um... So, yeah, let's uh, head on over there and I'll... I'll, I'll at least get started on that with you guys, but like I said, I'll, uh, I'll probably let you go before I'm completely done just because that's going to take me a while to get all that done. But look, isn't this gorgeous? I just love this. <laughs> oh, man, this road, this whole project was a lot of work, man. And, you know, in the future, when we uh, when we get even bigger, uh, we're, we're going to be we're going to use railways for sure. And I might even build roads, like bigger roads, even than the one we currently have, and utilize trucks and stuff because, man, running these conveyor lines this far is just a huge, huge pain in the ass. It's kind of cool to do it this one time, but I don't know if I want to do this, you know, <laughs> another 20 times before we're done with this playthrough. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. This is fun. Just riding the tubes, baby.
yeah, we're going to get rid of this ramp. E even though it's kind of fun, you know, riding down it with the hypertube, it's uh it's just it's just going to get too jank, you know, trying to bring all that shit down here. Um so, yeah. All right. Let's head on down here. I guess the first thing I'm going to do is change this Those to concrete. And this is gonna I am I'm pretty sure I'm gonna make this a double wide too be, just because of how we're gonna have to split everything off. It'll just give us that much more room. <coughs> um the other thing I think I'm gonna also do is let's just come down here for a second. I'm gonna take one or two of the coal lines and I'm I'm gonna actually cross them over uh, just on the other side of that island there and feed the coal into the coal plant from this end rather than running it all the way down to our factory um, you know to, ma to make that a little cleaner too so that's the plan for that but I'm gonna have to put some thought into exactly how I'm gonna route all this stuff and that's, you know, that's definitely an off-camera thing. I was uh, sinking some stuff earlier, so I might actually leave that there, too, because when I tear all these lines down, I'm going to have a shit ton of coal and all that, and uh, we'll probably just sink it because I'm not going to hang on to it. Okay. So, anyway, let's get rid of all of you guys, and we're going to go ahead and just bring this all the way down and I'll probably you know all of this is going to come apart so I'll do different supports underneath later on so we're gonna we want to get to where when we run a wall down it's just barely forward of the part of the cliff that's protruding the most which is a little bit tricky to tell from down here. So I'm just going to run these all the way into the wall for now, into the side of the cliff. In fact, you know, in just looking at this, I think, I think it's that point right there that sticks out the most. So we can actually determine that from here. We'll ultimately run the wall from up above because if you run it from down below, coming off of a one meter foundation like this it's not gonna it's not gonna match up right okay so let's grab a wall and right okay so that's gonna clip so that means that we want. Can I run the wall in the center of this? I'll bet you I could if I made these half foundations. And I'm actually going to go with the thick ones here too because we want the support. Yeah, this should work. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so I think, you know, uh, oh, lordy, put that there. So I think just eyeballing this from here, we will clear that protrusion there. We should. Um, let's, um, let's actually check this one too. That might just barely nick the back of the wall, but I don't care if it's nicking the back of the wall. It's just the front of the wall that I don't want it to nick. Okay, good. So this is this is our spot right here. Um, I am going to run these walls all the way up, you know, just so we know where everything's going to end up at the top. <clears throat> but unless they actually you know, match flush with the top, which they might. I don't think they will. <coughs> Excuse me. 
I'll pull them back down and then run them down from the top. Okay. So, yeah, the deal here then is... Let me just let me just kind of show you quickly what we're gonna do here, or what I'm gonna do. Um, let's go back to no wrong key. Let's go back to here. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to I'm gonna hold these out to here. And I'm not worried at this point about their actual alignment. I'm just I'm just gonna do it demonstrating this for you guys right now. Just so you can kind of see how it's gonna come together. Okay, so what we're gonna do then is we're gonna grab um, a lift and it'll either be a Mark II or Mark III, whatever it happens to be. Um, we'll just say it's a Mark III. And you know what? Actually I want to hold this out one more because of the the way we're gonna utilize the the floor holes. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to run that up as high as it'll go. And then we're going to get a half foundation, one meter half foundation. And we're going to put it just above. Yeah, we can go. We should be able to go right above it, I think. I think it'll let me get away with that. Okay, let's grab a ladder. I don't know why the hyper tubes turn your light off. It's kind of a pain in the ass, but they do. All right, now we're going to take a floor hole and we're going to put it right above there. I, I guess that's right above there. <laughs> um, well, if it isn't, it's not going to work, so... Okay, let's take this apart and reset it. Oh, okay. Nope. It isn't gonna it isn't gonna go. Okay, so that means we gotta bring oh shit. We gotta bring this whole thing down one, which we can do. That should work. When I was building this uh, back at the northern forest, I was able to go just a little bit higher and it would still reach, but that apparently was just a little too high and slide it over one deal that should work okay good so then you just all you have to do is run that into there like so and then you come up above it and you put this in turn it this way and you run it up again to the next height and then basically you just wash rinse and repeat and then when you're all finished um it's just it's just cleaner than you know trying to couple the ends of these together because they stick way out and they look ugly whereas in this case you know the conveyor belt is flat against the wall all the way up plus it has a more realistic support in my opinion too as it's going up all right so what i'm going to do is get this all set up and you know split everything up off the top and bring it down vertically and over straight here it's going to be really nice and neat and all beautifully routed and uh then i'm going to pull this ugly ramp down and we'll do another uh, another vertical hyper tube up there too we'll get that figured out and yeah so when i bring you guys back in the next episode that should all be done and we'll be ready uh to start doing stuff with uh, all of this new product. We're going to set up a, a small quartz production and a small sulfur production. Uh, the quartz is going to make crystal quartz and silica for us, and the sulfur is going to make gunpowder. And I haven't figured out exactly where on the factory floor I'm going to do that, but um, we'll figure it out when the time comes. All right, thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.